God. It's a 360 layup. That. Kentucky up a dozen at that point. How about Kellen Grady, the transfer? He is going to be huge for Kentucky. If he can come into the game and knock down threes consistently, that gives another element to the Kentucky offense that they've been missing. Kentucky was 13th in the league in three-point field goals made coming into tonight. Oscar Shibwe, 28 <laughs> rebounds. He had more rebounds than the entire Hilltopper squad for Western Kentucky. By the way, the record, I believe, in a single game for Kentucky, I think is 33. Unreal. He'll, he'll get it. I, I think he wants to get it. He said that he might get it one of these games if Coach Cal actually puts him in a little bit longer. Well, come on, Coach. Hey, conference play is uh, <laughs> happening here pretty soon. Um, Efton Reed, oh my gosh. A legend right now in the making. 48-24, they doubled him up in the half. The holidays are in full swing, and you can feel the magic in the air. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Can you tell us what's happening? Yeah, I got the awesome new iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods, and T-Mobile's paying for them both. Oh, and I get a free year of Apple TV+. Plus. <laughs> Upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods, both on us, only at T-Mobile. And this is for new and existing T-Mobile and Sprint customers, like me. Back to you. Uh, hey. Hello. Uh, hello? We're going to T-Mobile. The SEC taught us that no matter how hard you work, victory is never guaranteed. But fighting to get back up every single time you get knocked down is the only way to turn a setback into a comeback. Regents, official bank of the SEC. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. Do you listen to the TV on high volume or have trouble hearing conversations? Then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get Nano's revolutionary technology for just $297. Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The CIC Recharge is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Nano hearing aids for just $297. $97. Plus, we'll add a portable charging case and ship your order absolutely free. The CIC Recharge has a tiny in-the-ear canal design that is nearly invisible. Why keep missing out on important conversations or waste thousands of dollars? Call and get two CIC Recharge hearing aids for only $297 and free shipping. 800-256-2957. Again, that's 800-256-2957. Peter Burns, Andrea Carter, Santa, I know him. Maybe not that one, though. Uh, as how about you look at the Gators trying to get something done? Anthony DeRuji, ooh, 360. Keontae Johnson loving it on the bench. Take another look at this one. Florida, that is beautiful. 27 points off of 17 Sony Book turnovers. Gators win it by 25. Santa's vacation over. You got to get to work, my man. Devin Carter, South Carolina, hosting Army. South Carolina rolling at this point, up by 17, and that used to be South Carolina full game scores, and that's only the first half. Diving on the floor, the effort for the Gamecocks, 29 points off of 18 turnovers. They capitalized off their defense. 105-75 winners. Tom Crean looking like they were going to get a, a win at home in Athens, 84-82. Oh, no, East Tennessee State making it rain with a three-pointer. Georgia, an opportunity to win it. Good, clean look. But, but, what? I, I can't. I can't. It, you have, have timeouts. We could advance it. 86 84. Uh. Remember a Christmas story? No, you don't. You're too young. You know who had that dunk? Alex Fudge. Is that the leg lamp one? It is time for the final question. Who has offered the Rogers rates? Jacob State Farm. 
basically anyone. Sorry, buddy, that's incorrect. <laughs> See? We offer great rates that fit anyone's budget. That's enough. Thank you very much. Jessica in the middle, you said me? No. Sorry. <laughs> what are we doing? Whatever. Also me. Great LOL. That was really important. Of course. Everybody gets the rates, I guess. For a surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. We all eat unhealthy foods and breathe unhealthy air. Most of what you eat, drink, and breathe passes through your liver. This can make you feel tired and sluggish. Your liver is a vital organ that cleanses your body, supports your immune system, and produces your body's energy. Liver Right Liver Aid is the natural dietary supplement that aids and supports liver function and cleanses your liver from impurities in your diet and environment so you can have better energy and better quality of life. Help your liver daily with Liver Right Liver Aid. Available at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and Walmart. TV14 for up to 14 free meals. Be a war machine. Play online with your friends. Destroy your enemies. Experience massive battles. War Machines. Play free now. Available on the App Store and on Google Play. What do you think? I think you're going to talk to American Financing. Peyton Manning? You're going to save $1,000 a month. It's enough to send four kids to college. We're having four kids? Oh, yeah. All at the same time. Start planning for your future today with American Financing. We picture the student athlete for the drive, the dunk, the dime. But look closer. There is more. The budding philanthropist, the loving son, the multilingual, the nonprofit MBA, the outdoorsman, and the outspoken. More than students more than athletes. ESPN, home of the college football playoff semifinals. Friday, December 31st on ESPN. Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. There it is. Missouri Tigers trying to rally the crowd that's in there. How about Brady Cook? No Connor Basil like in this one. No Tyler Beatty. No problem for Missouri. Running in for the touchdown. Army not to be done, though. Christian Anderson. Not Hans Christian Anderson. Just Christian Anderson runs it in for Army. 13-7 to going into the almost into halftime at that point. Uh, college football playoff announced its COVID-19 postseason guidelines on Wednesday. Now, if a team cannot play in the Fiesta or Peach Bowls, they can be rescheduled within a week of the original date. If date has been identified, then the game will be declared a no contest. Now, for the semifinals, if one team can't play, then that team will forfeit and the other team will advance to the national title game. Makes sense, right? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. If both teams can't play in one of the games, the winner of the other semifinal will be declared a national champion. If three teams somehow can't play, the remaining team will be declared a national championship uh, winner. And then remember, that national championship game can be rescheduled but no later than January 14th. If one team still can't play in the remaining team, it will be declared a national champion. If both teams can't play, by the way, it'll be declared a no contest and no champion will be declared. There will be a quiz on that later. Scantron, bring your um, number two pencil as well too. TI-82 calculators are also uh, well done. Uh, 48, 24, I'll tell you. Academy Sports and Outdoors has the gifts to make this your most fun Christmas ever. From game tables and grills to apparel and sneakers, we've got everybody covered this holiday. Merry Christmas from everyone at Academy Sports and Outdoors. The holidays are in full swing and you can feel the magic in the air. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Can you tell us what's happening? Yeah, I got the awesome new iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods and T-Mobile's paying for them both. Oh, 
and I get a free year of Apple TV Plus. <laughs> Upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods both on us, only at T-Mobile. And this is for new and existing T-Mobile and Sprint customers, like me. Back to you. Uh, hey. Hello. Uh, hello? We're going to T-Mobile. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change, so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone, because at LSU, our calling is humanity. One car accident. Everything just fell apart. My car insurance dropped me. I got a ticket for driving uninsured, so I couldn't drive to work. Now I'm behind on the rent. What's next? Need car insurance? A bad driving record doesn't have to stop you. Get coverage for as little as 20 bucks down with Good To Go Auto Insurance and proof of insurance on the spot. Visit goodtogo.com and get things back on track. Visit goodtogo.com. That's good, the number two, go.com. Hi, I'm Wolfgang Buck. When I started my online store, Wolfgang Buck Home, I knew there would be a lot of orders to fill, and I wanted them to ship out fast. That's why I chose ShipStation. ShipStation helps manage orders, reduce shipping costs, and print out shipping labels. It's my secret ingredient. ShipStation, the number one choice of online sellers. And Wolfgang Buck. Go to ShipStation.com TV and get two months free. A little basketball snowman to get you in the mood. LSU in the mood for another victory to stay undefeated on the season, doubling up the Bisons of Lipscomb. 48-24. to This was uh, what went on at halftime. That is the incomparable Dan Bournet, who was reading Cajun Night Before Christmas before all the youngsters out there. I haven't seen that kind of captive audience since Pat Bradley was... He can hold the crowd. Children's that stories Dan back Bournet. in the day. There's no question. <laughs> Mr. Bourdais, Mr. Bradley, two guys that can captivate the children like no other. Uh, Pat, mm -hmm. as we look at that first half, LSU was captivating in, in so many ways. We, we talked about at the top that this is not the past few years LSU defense, right? Yeah, they can still score 80-something points a night, but sure. they look like they can defend as well as any team in the SEC right now. Well, they are forcing 20 turnovers a game right now. Lipscomb's at 10. Uh, Lipscomb shoots 37% from the three-point line. They're sitting at 14% right now. So you see the effect of LSU. And today, their offense has been rolling as well. Xavier Pinson with the nice penetration kick out to Darius Days, who is feeling it. How about Efton Reed the third, the seven-footer from deep? Darius Day is just one of his four there, but it's the extra pass that has gotten LSU 48 points tonight. Very unselfish. It's impressive that they turned down a good shot for a great shot. They've been doing it all night. You know, I, I'm wearing the happy Festivus uh, sweater tonight. Pat Bradley as Darius Days picks up where he left off in the first half. He's now got a game-high 14. And on Festivus, you air your grievances. I think LSU is taking out their grievances on Lipscomb tonight. I mean, they are playing a near-perfect game thus far. I got a lot of problem with point. you people, and that's one of them. <laughs> Stay in front of the basketball, Mike. If there's one grievance, basketball grievance I have, it's the uh -huh. name of the game has not changed. It always has been and always will be. Put the ball in the hole, and that is high percentage shots, okay? Everybody wants to talk about the three-point shot, but you've got to eliminate shots at the rim is number one, not like LSU just did there. Well, Darius Days did use that three-point shot to his advantage. He hit four of them. LSU 50% from downtown. Fast break points. I'm at 13-0. Pretty much everything Lipscomb did not want to see in terms of the way this game would unfold happened in the first half. We'll see if the Bisons can turn it around in the second. Just to give you Quick a little hands. bit of context there. Good hustle. That's 50-50 basketball right there. That's how you win SEC games. 
Pinson starting it off with the steal. Pinson gets rewarded on the other end with the easy deuce. Xavier Pinson looks like a new player. I was saying in the first half, at Missouri, he flashed a lot, right? I mean, he would have games and moments sure. where you'd say, wow. And then it was just, it kind of disappeared for a little bit. He kind of felt like at times he... Oh, Darius Days, five threes. What is it that Will Wade saw in Darius Days where he knew this was going to be a big game tonight? Well, he does see him every day in practice. He knows yeah. him as well as anyone. And I'm sure he felt that he possibly he's gotten a lot of extra pass threes. Felt Lipscomb's defense would maybe sag off of Darius Days. Maybe told him, let's get a little more aggressive from that three-point line. Now, or, he tested. It was just one of those nights. <laughs> Maybe one we of those nights. Every once in a while. <laughs> Watch Darius Days on, a, on another three. He's now six of nine, five of seven. Yeah, Coach Will Wade told us, he said, I thought he was gone. And he tested the NBA waters, and he went to the G League invite camp. Things didn't go exactly the way that Darius Days had hoped for. And so Will Wade got on a plane. Flew to Florida to meet with him and said, hey, look, you know, you're welcome back for another year. And he's certainly welcome back. And he keeps playing like this. Darius Days, 19 points, 7 of 10 from the field. And he's shown his versatility. Last year, we had a lot of fun with Darius Days. He was the basketball superhero, the glue man. Because he did, he got offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. He dove on the floor 50-50 balls. He he could defend, and when called upon, he could make shots. This year, he's accepted a different role. He came into the season as the top offensive guy, and he's delivered. Efton Reed, the third, just picked up his fourth foul, so that'll likely spell a lot of pine time by the talented seven-foot freshman out of Richmond, Virginia, a five-star recruit. Yeah, to go back to Darius Days, think about this. He's got over a 1,000 career points, and you say, well, I mean, there's 1,000-point scores all over college basketball. But he's got them all at one school, Pat Bradley. He's got them all at LSU. <laughs> the way things are in today's day and age where everybody hits that portal, it's not just the portal. As Coach Acuff was pointing, to, pointing out to us, it's the fact that they don't have to sit out a year anymore. So that makes it so easy to do. So you got a lot of kids yeah. who score 500 one school, 600 at another school. Some some kids divide it up into three schools. It's nice to see a young man who's got a thousand points all yeah. for one program. Yeah, and we've seen him grow up. I, I can remember when he came in with that with that great class, uh, Javon with nice Javon move. Smart. That was a real good patience. But that you, you talk about transfers and talking to Lenny Acuff, Coach Acuff, Lipscomb, when he was at Alabama Huntsville D2 school, he would redshirt his freshmen. And that helped because right. they're older, right? Now you're now basically you've got an older group of guys. And that is the advantage of the previous rule where a transfer had to sit out. Now, this guy mm -hmm. is going to be a year older when you get him because he's going to be in your program for a year, not playing games, but he'll be a year older. Uh, you know, you're not getting that. You're not getting that no. one year where the guy can transition to what you want. Pence he's feeling it, too. Flips it up there from about 25 feet out. Xavier Pinson, he's got 15. So far, it's been the days in Pinson show to the players we highlighted at the top every now and then actually works out for us. <laughs> I, I've, I've said the Pete Maravich Center is one of the great shooting arenas. Why is that? You've been telling me that for seven years. Why is that? It's, it, it's a, the lighting is great. The, the rim, the, everything matters. The background, it's just a great place to shoot. Well, I'll tell you who agrees with you. Xavier Pinson. One step, no help, under control, great balance, and the slow walk it off. Xavier Pinson sending a message. Watch out, just move on. 
Don't be shy now. Like the prime cut. Uh-huh. I love my gold jacket, but that app like blue feels so right. When you feel right, you coach right. I know that's right. Prime never believed in double coverage. But health insurance and app like is money. Must be the money. And I know how Coach Prime feels about money. Uh-huh. Now that is what this jacket needs. Must be the money. Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover at Aflac.com. What does security mean to you? To some, it means always having your smartphone on you. It's crushing your big presentation. Security is a feeling, an emotion, a sense of belonging and place, free from worry. And it's a feeling you should have in everything you do, whether that's having stable and secure internet, or just being able to work from wherever. Experience security everywhere with McAfee Total Protection. Swimming takes a combination of effort and focus. Every breath, every stroke, every movement must be deliberate. One day you realize, instead of feeling tired, you feel strong. That's what Regents Private Wealth Management provides. We're intentional about every detail of your financial plan, so you can embrace life's moments while planning for your future. SEC Network Basketball is brought to you by T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Mike Morgan, Pat Bradley, great to be with you. The PMAC, Pete Maravich, Assembly Senator in Baton Rouge on a beautiful night. They're expecting a warm Christmas over there near the bayou. Speaking of warm, these guys were ah, down right hot guys. for much of their career. Yeah, they were fun to cover. Cam Thomas, the freshman sensation, one of the best shooters in college basketball. And Javante Smart was there for a few years. So was Watford. And, of course, all three now playing in the pros. And usually when you lose that kind of productivity, you're going to take a, a, a step back. But the mark of a really good program is when you can lose all that and still have the kind of season that LSU is enjoying so far, Pat. I did not anticipate that the pieces Will Wade brought in would be able to fit so quickly. What we found is when you do take on transfers, when you do take on freshmen, and you have the returning players, how are we going to mix those three groups together? And to what coaches throw college basketball trying to figure this out. Will Wade and his staff has done it better than anybody in the country this season. And to also, you told the story of Darius Days. He met with his family, laid out the plan. Here's how we're going to get you to where you want to go. Uh, and then, you know, Xavier Pinson had a big role with previous schools. So all these things coming together, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see. And keep in mind they're doing all this without Tari Eason, their leading scorer this year, who tweaked something in pregame. We never got... Official word on what that was or is, but didn't sound overly serious. And he did not play tonight and will not play tonight. That's going to be offensive on Brandon Murray. Will Wade saying, why? A little too cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah young fella. In these freshmen, Will Wade is not happy. I think he's mad at the call. Let's see if we can get another look at it. No, I don't like that. They call charge on yeah. that? That's they call charge. offensive. Clearly the feet were moving. Inside. Bucket. I'll tell you what, Lipscomb has realized that the threes aren't working. Let's try to get some oh, easy my. twos. Speaking of easy twos, <laughs> it's not easy for most people, but for Brandon Murray, the high riser out of Baltimore, it's quite simple. That was about as precise of a pass as you're going to get. Who's that? Eric Gaines once again. We saw him dishing out gifts to the youngsters in the community. He dishes that one out to Brandon Murray. Beautiful. Right over the rim. On time, on target. Like who? Tom Brady. Except for that last game against New Orleans. We'll just, we'll just wipe that from the memory. I don't right? remember what you're talking about. We're on... Yeah. We're on to Cleveland. On to whoever they play next. 
Yeah, he wasn't dropping too many dimes in that shutout loss, but we still love TV hey, he 12. Can't throw, he can't throw it in, catch it, Mike. Come on now. Even That's Giselle true. told you that. Yeah, you're sounding like Mrs. Brady now. <laughs> Only you could cook like Mrs. Brady. <laughs> I can run Only the uh, many talents. Walk the runway, too. Yes. Please. Well, we, nobody needs to see that. Games. That might have been an extra step. Yes, it was. Turnover. He's had some pretty creative moves in the lane. We've seen a couple of Euro steps and almost like circus shots when he gets in there. Can't get away with that one. And he's not in the starting lineup, but he figures to play many more minutes this year off the bench. It's kind of a crowded backcourt last year when Gaines was a freshman. Step back three. And out of bounds off the front iron. LSU basketball. Gaines is another one of those guys who understands his strengths, and he's going to play to it. He's going to be that ball hawk, chest to chest, baseline to baseline, 94 feet. I'm going to get under you, make life uncomfortable for you. That's really what I see out of LSU this year is these guys quickly have understood how and how they can get minutes, <laughs> and, and, and you know, they're not trying to do things that they can't do. Dribbling right into a double team. Gaines on the turnover, and then he gets it right back, poking it away. Now Gaines leading the pack, and he'll thunder one home. Now if they're going to turn it over, you might as well get a steal and a slam to make amends. <laughs> and not a good foul right there, Mr. Eric Gaines. And he knows it. Well, Pat Bradley, and then there were five as Tennessee of the SEC knocks off Arizona. So we are left with five unbeatens left in Division I college basketball, Baylor, Southern Cal, Iowa State, Colorado State, and your Bayou Bengals who are enjoying a large lead tonight and look to be well on their way to a 12-0 start. Like to see Tennessee, Tennessee Rick Barnes. 77, yeah. You, you know they're going to well, defend were, you at a high right. level. They were an enigma last year offensively, right? I mean, we just couldn't figure them yeah. out last year. Uh, but, but for whatever reason, it didn't click. But this year, it's clicking. Yeah. Well, their two best scorers were the, the freshmen they have. Had uh, Jaden Springer and Keon Johnson. And it took them into the SEC season to, to figure things out. And by that time, right. it was sort of a little too late. Yeah, I, I Both think, those guys I think are gone. Now they got Kennedy Chandler, who's fantastic. Oh, he is. And he's going to be a lot of fun to watch this year for fans tuning in tonight and they haven't seen Mr. Chandler in Knoxville. He will put on a show or two this season. Nice take that time on the double pump by Eric Gaines. For LSU fans, defense travels and getting on the glass travels. I mentioned their number one defensive rebound team in the SEC. Those types of things are going to be important when you go on the road, taking care of the basketball, right? We hear me talk about my road recipe. Mm -hmm. Take care of the basketball, defensive rebound, and get high percentage shots. And, yeah, those things are connected in a way. But if you can sell that to your team, they buy in, whoo, you get a couple of W's on the road in this league. It's tough this year. By the way, in that Tennessee win over Arizona, Fulkerson, 24 points and 10 rebounds. Folk smash! They need to have, have him have a bounce back year. He was so good two years ago. Last year, not quite as much. And this year, perhaps poised to have a career year. He's a guy that they needed to be aggressive on the offensive end. Tonight he showed it. Aaron Gaines getting aggressive here. I like it. Forcing the issue. Playing downhill. Sounds like Eric Gaines has pretty much been involved in every play in the <laughs> yeah, second yeah. half. It's like there's five of them out there. And he, he, he does he does a great job. He accepts that role. And he he's one of the quickest guys out there. He he wants to get out and defend. I know it sounds crazy. I played with a guy, Kareem Reed, 
who liked to get out and defend and cause problems. And again, look at this, this 1-3-1 one, one by LSU, the length, the quickness. There's the spot. That's how you beat it. Ooh. That's exactly what you got to do. It's Trey Benham, his first basket of the night. Pump fake sidestep. Beautiful take. Gliding to the rim is Alex Fudge. He looks like he's going to be awfully good in time. 6'8 freshman from Jacksonville. I would like to see that great balance on the pump fake. Pinson tried to go around the back. That did not work out so well, but Alex Fudge did. Watch the pump fake. Young fella stays low so he can explode to the rim and finishes above the rim. Ellis, you up 30. Here we go, Billy. Swing hard, buddy. At Auto Owners Insurance, we know you. We know every Saturday your son Billy plays Little League. We sponsor his team. And we know you love parking way too close to the field. That's why we tailor a unique policy for you and your car. Because sometimes something from out of left field can literally come from out of left field. That's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you. Hey, Billy. The holidays are in full swing, and you can feel the magic in the air. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Can you tell us what's happening? Yeah, I got the awesome new iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods, and T-Mobile's paying for them both. Oh, and I get a free year of Apple TV+. Plus. <laughs> Upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods, both on us, only at T-Mobile. And this is for new and existing T-Mobile and Sprint customers, like me. Back to you. Uh, hey. Hello. Uh, hello? We're going to T-Mobile. Can't wait for it. December the 31st. What are we, nine days away from the college football playoff semis? Alabama and Cincinnati, Georgia and Michigan. Could we be looking at an all-SEC final? It's happened before. Might happen again. We shall see. It's been a good night for the SEC so far. Just told you about the news of Tennessee winning their game. LSU a big over Lipscomb. You had Kentucky with a win over Western Kentucky. I'll tell you an interesting stat line in that game, but how about the interesting stat line on one Darius Day's Pat Bradley, 19 points. Uh, He's done it in all kinds of ways. The senior from Raleigh, Florida, six foot seven forward. We know that he can pass, defend, rebound. What he's been called upon this year to do is score. He shot the three-point shot better than he ever has, and you see him there in the paint. He's big enough. He's strong enough. And he's crafty enough to be able to finish around the rim, too. You know, having spent a lot of time in the state of Florida and priding myself in Florida geography, I must admit <laughs> I had to look up where Raleigh, Florida is. It's kind of in the northern central part of the state. Population 357, according to the latest census. Is that right? Yeah. So a big shout out. Is it, uh, I hope, is that include Darius Days? So is it 356 watching right now from Raleigh, Florida? That That's a good question. That might be a technicality. It might waver between 356, 357, depending on <laughs> Mr. Depending Days' on if it's whereabouts. Christmas break or not. By the <laughs> way, LSU's going to have off until the 26th, I believe. So all the mamas and grandmamas out there, you got a couple days to feed the feed your boys, feed them good. Because <laughs> well, Will Wade's to gonna run it off when they get back. <laughs> That's oh, right, man. I used. I they used don't to need to so run it off when they play Christmas. Auburn in the SEC opener. Yeah. That'll burn some calories. That is gonna Auburn be another win giant matchup. Nice pass inside. Second effort, no. And coming in for the rebound is Reed the third. He's playing with four fouls. 
Ten minutes remaining, all LSU at the PMAC. Pinson, oh, that's pretty. That's the flashes I was referring to earlier. He would show you some of that at Mizzou. It was just sporadic. Maybe it'll be more consistent in Baton Rouge. He, he looks high, more comfortable. And, and that comes with age. Obviously, we talked about how important it is. Coaches always talk about, we want to get old and we want to stay old. There's a lot of freshman talent out there. However, they're still freshmen. And they're going to make freshman mistakes. So, Xavier Pinson has the... You know, Will Wade have the luxury of having a well-seasoned point guard. Reed. Not that time. But an offensive rebound. Kicks out to LSU's Wilkinson. A little too loose on the handle was Gaines. Love Pinson's. He's quick, but look at the hesitation. Everything's about change of speed, change of direction. Now he is blessed to be quick as a cat, but he understands change of speed. See the hesitation there. Defender comes up, he explodes into his next move. He's right at his season average of five assists a game, which is good for fifth best in the SEC, and that's really what they need him to do. Nifty move in the paint that time by KJ Johnson. They don't need Pinson to light it up with all the weapons that LSU has. They need him to make the right plays. And more often than not this year, that's what he's done. He's made the right decision and the right plays. Where, where I think he's going to be valuable. Uh-oh. <laughs> Eric Gaines with some extra hang time on that alley-oop. A little bit of the English, too. You know, yeah. pool player going back in the day. Is that Minnesota Fats? Ah, I remember those days. I had my own poop poop cue. <laughs> you. You were, you were quite the hustler back in the day. Yeah, no one wanted to mess with me in the game of night ball, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Great catch. And a little bit of English by Eric Gaines. Great body control. LSU a bit. I love these fans and all the other things that we have in the SEC. Let's get to some other games here. That's that your Volta, is bro. swag, yo. <laughs> I'm just not afraid of Gators. I don't know that a Gator's ever backed down from you, bro. <laughs> 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 all right, we'll see you next week. That's my face before Curology. Man, I don't miss that. Curology was straight up simple. All right, one bottle? This is already easier. I put it on before bed and it just does its thing. My confidence blew up. Curology changed everything. That's a lot of cake. Peyton Manning? Your parents are gonna consolidate their debt with American Finance. And that's gonna save them thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars? He gets it. Consolidate your debt with American Financing today. One car accident. Everything just fell apart. My car insurance dropped me. I got a ticket for driving uninsured, so I couldn't drive to work. Now I'm behind on the rent. What's next? Need car insurance? A bad driving record doesn't have to stop you. Get coverage for as little as 20 bucks down with Good To Go Auto Insurance and proof of insurance on the spot. Visit goodtogo.com and get things back on track. Visit goodtogo.com. That's good, the number two, go.com. Peter Burrs of the studio update. Coming in tonight, uh, there was only, what, six different undefeated teams. Arizona was one of them. Tennessee ends up getting the victory. All right, back with you from the PMAC in Baton Rouge. It's LSU all over Lipscomb. This is as brutal a gauntlet to start <laughs> conference play, Pat Bradley, as I have ever seen, and I mean ever. I, at Auburn, 
Kentucky, Tennessee, at Florida, Arkansas, Bama, Tennessee. Everybody's ranked in, on there except for Florida, who that not that long ago was in the top 15. And Mike White's got a good team, I can assure you. I, I mean, that's crazy. Like, the, the league that's... is loaded. We know that. But there are some teams in the lower third that uh, would help break that up a little bit. LSU is going to be tested really, really early. Well, that, that's going to be the... That is the toughest full week stretch. Was that full weeks of those? Anyone in the country? I mean, on, uh, listen, the Boston Celtics do not have a more difficult <laughs> schedule in the next three weeks. Can we weeks flash that up again? Then LSU. I, I am, yeah. And I think that's part of the reason why you might have caught Will Wade uh, rather animated on the sideline. Yeah, this game might be somewhat in the books, although Johnson hitting threes will help keep it entertaining. But he, he knows that LSU is going to have to play at an optimal level to get through that stretch with a winning record, let's just say. Brandon Murray knocks down a three. LSU has been smoking from downtown all night long. Now 11 of 21. Steel, another one from the nation's number two steel team in America. Games tried to flip it in there with the follow is Milwaukee Wilkinson. We're seeing everything that LSU has done well all year long. Defend, right. rebound. Oh yeah, block right shots. <laughs> that one just put a dent in the backboard as Wilkinson pinned it against the glass. And you never know when your team is going to Christmas break. A lot of them tonight after the game, they had no. Are you going to get guys that are focused? And so you got six and a half minutes left. That's why Will Wade's like, fellas, let's just give me the six and a half minutes. Let's play, not make bad mistakes, not like that. That was a good a good action. Got to go up, finish stronger though. Mr. Reed, the third. However, you want to finish strong for a variety of reasons. Pretty impressive performance tonight by a number of players for LSU, but none bigger than Darius Days. 19 points on an economical 7 of 11 from the field, 5 of 8 from 3. Days also with 6 rebounds on the night. Brandon Murray's got 13. Talented freshmen for the Tigers who are playing shorthanded without Tari Eason. They really only play eight guys to begin with. So this was a seven-man show tonight in this game. Good hustle. LSU fighting. Scrum. Lipscomb has the arrow. And what I was talking about those reasons, Mike, variety of reasons, is because your mentality of your team right now is where you want it to be. Those 50-50, get on the floor, loose balls, extra pass. Those types of things you want to keep your team focused on. You don't want the other things to creep in. A guy trying to do too much because we're up by 30. Uh, going into spring break, you want to keep that same aggressive mentality, team chemistry. Well, bad habits are hard to break, right? You don't want to develop them when you're down 30 or up 30. Keep playing the game the right way. Right. Another turnover on Lipscomb, and there to clean it up. Darius Days now with 21 points to lead all scorers. What a luxury to get him back for his senior year. I mean, that is that is the glue that really links last year's talented team to this year's talented team. And he's a complete player. So you're getting a guy who knows how to play winning basketball in a complementary role. Defense, rebound, second chance opportunities. And you let him know, hey, coming back this year, you're going to be our number one guy. And we're going to get you in position to have opportunities like those guys did last year. But I don't want you to forget what got you the kind of player you are doing those other things. Now, and he's been a part of some really good LSU teams. I think people would be surprised 
to realize the program that has the most conference wins over the last three years, it's not Kentucky, it's not Tennessee, it's not Auburn, it's LSU. And of course, Darius Days has been a part of those teams. Remember the days of Tremont Waters? wins the last three years. Trey Waters had some really, really fun athletic teams. A lot of good players came to the program last few years. Nice take. Gliding in, Quincy Clark. Under five minutes to play. LSU trying to put an exclamation point on the end of non-conference play. We got a walk-on alert. And one. Elton Reed the third, Efton Reed the third, still playing strong here in the final minutes. This is what I was talking about. You could win a bar bet or a water cooler bet, depending on your choice of entertainment. Most SEC wins the last three years. LSU, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, and Auburn. And, of course, all five of those programs ranked in the top 25, looking at another good year in 21-22. But how about LSU? How about the consistency? They finished in the top four all three years. So all three years they've enjoyed a, a bye in the SEC tournament and trying to keep that streak alive. Did that sneak up on you at all, Mr. Bradley, the omniscient one? Well, I would like to say that it didn't. I'm not surprised, and, and I'll tell you why. After this alley -oop. That looks fudge <laughs> on the two-hand flush. Now it's just fun time for LSU and the hometown faithful. Will Wade has proven that he can win games multiple ways. Defensive guys, offensive guys, switching defenses, uh, motion offenses, he, and he's – a tactician offensively so with the changing rosters yes I believe that that coach Wade and his staff understand how, how to be successful with different rosters and that defense continues to be tenacious sixth time this year LSU has forced 20 or more turnovers Lipscomb has coughed it up 21 times tonight Last time LSU started the season 11-0 was 2000. Uh, the bank is open on Wednesday night. <laughs> Efton Reed the third will gladly take three on that one. 40-point cushion for the Tigers and a block shot by Alex Fudge. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Here's another steal. Another breakaway and some more fun for LSU. Eric Gaines showing off some hops. He stays. I think Lipscomb right now is just exhausted. <laughs> Eric Gaines stays in the passing lanes. Parker Edwards, great kick up to the alley-oop. Mr. Alex Fudge above the rim again. The SEC taught us that no matter how hard you work, victory is never guaranteed. But fighting to get back up every single time you get knocked down is the only way to turn a setback into a comeback. Regents, official bank of the SEC. Academy Sports and Outdoors has the gifts to make this your most fun Christmas ever. From game tables and grills to apparel and sneakers, we've got everybody covered this holiday. Merry Christmas from everyone at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Introducing the first stain worthy of the yellow tag. New Yellowwood Protector Semi-Transparent Stain and Water Repellent. Find a Yellowwood dealer near you. The holidays are in full swing and you can feel the magic in the air. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Can you tell us what's happening? Yeah, I got the awesome new iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods and T-Mobile's paying for them both. Oh, and I get a free year of Apple TV Plus. Ah. Upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods both on us, only at T-Mobile. And this is for new and existing T-Mobile and Sprint customers like me. Back to you.
Hello. Uh, hello? We're going to T-Mobile. All LSU tonight. There's been plenty of celebration moments. We picked this one brought to you by Allstate, Mr. Bradley. Well, that was a precise pass. Getting it on time, on target, in transition. Everything has gone right for LSU in this game. Let's face it, 55% from three. 55% from the field, forcing 21 turnovers. All the, the things that have been in the recipe for LSU throughout this undefeated run about to be 12-0. and 0. So we, we showed everybody that schedule, Pat. Uh, the one thing LSU has not done under Will Wade is had a deep run in the NCAA tournament. A lot of that had to do with the fact that they didn't de defend very well in the yeah. postseason. So when you look at this year's team, under the microscope, in the lab, is this the team that makes a deeper run? Well, you know right now Ken Palm has them ranked number one defensively. You can look at all the numbers, but when you watch this team, why I like and love them defensively is because, outside of that right there, they're forcing you into taking difficult shots. They defend the three-point line, 25% for the opponent, 40% from the two-point range. So that stuff travels. And I know they're not going to shoot the three like they have tonight. That's going to be difficult to be 12 or 22 on a nightly basis. But they've shown they can. They've got inside scoring. Efton Reed the third. And we've seen Alex Fudge play around the rim. Uh, so they can score in a multiple uh, uh, ways. Xavier Pinson can get to the lane, get to the rim. It's really well balanced offensively, and you know they're going to lock you up defensively. Got a couple walk-ons sprinkled in with the regulars for LSU. Again, they're playing a little short-handed tonight without Tari East, and they only have an eight-man rotation even with a, a full complement of players. I'll give you Hope a great three. success story. Number 30, Parker Edwards for LSU. Yeah. Well, give Played it to against him. LSU when he was at UT Martin. In 11 minutes, the man made six three-point shots. Next thing you know, he's a walk-on for LSU. Will Wade's like, we That's need this guy. We've got to have this guy. Get this guy. That is next-level stuff. Nobody breaks down the walk-ons like one Pat Bradley. <laughs> Nobody. Well, Straight on I, three by Benham. I know the value of the walk-ons. I played with <laughs> some great ones. Some who went on to earn a scholarship and a starting position. Guy Whitney, one of them. And there's a lot, lot, lot of great work the walk-ons do that go unnoticed. Well, great the thing is you and I, in a normal situation, when we're there on site, we go to practice and we watch those walk-ons work every bit as hard yeah. as the guys log in 30 minutes a night. So they, they have to go through the off-season conditioning program. They have to go through every practice, every bit of the hard work that you see the other guys get. It's nice to see them get a little fruits for their labor in games like this. Well, and the thing is, Mike, they can't get away with anything, right? They can't complain. They can't be late. Superstars like us, man, you know, we come a little, couple minutes late here. And <laughs> yeah, we're okay. <laughs> now, everybody wants to see Brandon Egamo launch a three here. I don't know if this it's going to happen. This is his job. He's got to shoot it. It's actually going to be a shot clock violation. Oh, that'll, he ate that turnover, that'll, huh? That'll add a turnover to the stat sheet. <laughs> Media timeout with 1.8 <laughs> seconds to go. We'll be back. Welcome to Allstate, where we have all new lower auto rates. And savings like that make you feel like you won the whole dang thing. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today.
the gifts you won't forget. The Mercedes-Benz Winter Event. You're going to need a smaller cabinet because now you can take all those supplements you're taking or not taking and replace them with this. AG1 by Athletic Greens brings 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens together in one place. It might just be the most comprehensive and convenient nutritional regimen on the planet. Immunity supporting, recovery enhancing, digestion improving, energy lifting. Made to the strictest quality standards. Made New Zealand. Made for just about everybody. Well, conference play begins next Wednesday. We'll have a triple header for you here on the SEC Network. We got Florida Ole Miss. Good game. We got Missouri, Kentucky. By the way, Sheepway, 28 rebounds today. The first by a Division oh, I player in several years. 28 rebounds. It's ridiculous. And then uh, Sonny, John Sunbold and I will be with you for Arkansas and Mississippi State. That's going to be a lot of fun. Your Razorbacks, Pat Bradley, going to get a battle in Starkville with a much improved Mississippi State squad. Uh, but just for clarification, there was an extra media timeout. So if they take a shot, if LSU does, this doesn't happen. But since they let it, the shot clock expire, we get a turnover. That's a commercial break with less than two seconds in a 35 point game. Shooter, quick thoughts. Great bounce, offensive end, six LSU Tigers in double figures, and from a defensive standpoint, held Lipscomb under 40%, 30% from the three-point line. So it was classic LSU win, starts on defense, trickles into the offense. A lot of fun to watch this team tonight. It'll be a lot of fun to watch LSU all year long. For Pat Bradley, Mike Morgan saying so long for now. Peter Burns, Andrea Carter, take it away at SCC Now. Thank you, Mike Morgan. Welcome into SEC Now. We'll be uh, 